We acknowledge the land that ACTRA Toronto is on is in the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Union solidarity is based on the principle that all union members are equal. Discrimination and harassment weaken our solidarity, reducing our capacity to work together on shared concerns, such as decent wages, safe working conditions, and justice for all. We neither condone nor tolerate behavior that undermines the dignity or self-esteem of any individual. Hi, I'm Lisa McLeod, Ontario's Minister for Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture Industries. I'd like to congratulate all award recipients and nominees at this year's 19th annual ACTRA Awards. Last year, we had the opportunity to be together before the pandemic. And so this year, we'll be joining each other virtually. But I wanna congratulate everyone for their successful year on film and TV sets across Ontario during these very difficult times. I know this year's nominees includes the cast of such iconic Canadian shows like Murdoch Mysteries, Kim's Convenience, and Schitt's Creek. And I know that they're all worthy recipients and nominees. There are so many talented actors and actresses across Ontario. And I know collectively together, your efforts to continue to showcase Ontario talent and Canadian talent has been incredible. It showcased the resiliency and the Ontario spirit that we're so proud of. I wanna also thank ACTRA for taking the time over the past year to be part of my ministerial advisory committee on film and television. I remain committed to ensuring we have adequate support for above and below the line talent in our industry. I wanna make sure that we expand on our film friendly locations, that we streamline our tax credits, and of course, encourage more Canadian content to be shared here in Ontario, across Canada and throughout the world. So again, thank you all very much for this kind invitation. And again, congratulations to all of those who've made their on-screen success part of tonight. Thank you. Welcome to the 19th annual ACTRA Awards in Toronto. Hi, I'm Teresa Toba, past president. Oh, and like so many other things in our lives that have changed this year, tonight's awards are gonna be a little different. I know how much we all miss seeing each other in person, but if there is anything that this industry has proven this year, it is that we are resilient. Now I'm speaking to you from our empty reception in the ACTRA Toronto offices. But let tonight be about the good bits. Hmm? Tonight, we're gonna to celebrate ACTRA Toronto performers' talent and excellence. I'm taking you to the Gordon Pinsent Studios, past the Sean Mackay Council Chamber. Yeah, Council hasn't met here in almost 11 months, but I am proud and honored to introduce you to your newly elected president. David is a friend to so many of us. He's a Gemini award-winning actor, a writer, a director, a fancy schmancy song and dance man. David has served here as a trusted vice president for over 12 years. He has been publisher of Performers Online, hosted Actra at Work, working to create a star system, one podcast at a time. Oh, and he facilitated the creation of our first ever LGBTQ plus committee, Out Actra TO and smart man that he is. He also co-chaired the Constitution and Bylaws Committee. My friends, David Gale is a trusted, 
kind, brilliant man. We are in very good hands. My friends, I introduce you to your new president, Mr. David Gale. You ready for your close-up, Mr. President? <laughs> Thank you, Tova. Welcome, Actor Toronto, our industry partners, and for the first time, perhaps our fans. I hope you are safe and warm and looking fabulous wherever you are watching the show. First, I must take a moment to shine a light on my dear friend, Teresa Tova, for her four years of monumental leadership, whether it was guiding us through the Me Too movement, Black Lives Matter, or a virus which all but shut down our industry for five months, Tova stepped up fiercely and compassionately to make sure all of our members felt heard, encouraged, and safe. Not only is Actra Toronto forever changed because of you, Tova, so is the industry and our province. On behalf of our union, you have our undying gratitude. Please don't leave. Speaking of the province, I want to thank Minister McLeod for her unwavering support. And I also want to thank our other government and industry partners and sponsors. Let's continue working together to keep us all safe, healthy, and on set. Well, my friends, tonight is about opportunity, hope, and celebration. Opportunity. I stand here before you as our first out queer Actra Toronto president in the history of our union. This is history. Opportunity. We are working to make certain that every 12-year-old queer kid who wants to be a performer can come out and believe that they can have a viable career free from discrimination, homophobia, or transphobia right here in Ontario, so that no queer actor will ever again hear their agents say they'd get more work if they sounded less gay or looked more feminine or chose a gender. You can't be what you can't see. By focusing on diversity and inclusion, we are making opportunities for all our members so that every black, indigenous, brown, Asian, Latinx person with disability, queer, trans, non-binary, female, young and old performer can see themselves on our screens. And right here, you can cast the world. You can even cast a superhero. Hope. Right now, we are dealing with a deadly virus. Actor Toronto is taking a leading role in making sure our sets are safe. As members of the Ministry of Labor's Section 21 Film and Television Health and Safety Committee, we worked on guidelines to ensure that cast and crew is safe on set. I'm proud that one of the first acts of our executive and council this year was to let all producers and engagers know that COVID-19 safety protocols must include plans for diagnostic testing. After all, performers are the only ones taking our masks off at work. And finally, celebration. We will build our strength as a union by raising the profile of our members, our award-winning and rising stars. You may know from our podcast, Actor Spotlight, that building a star system in Canada has been a little bit of a thing of mine for a while. We will work together with social media to help build a star system. Stardom that was no stranger to the late Christopher Plummer. I had the honor of getting to know the multiple Actra award-winning star of stage and screen. Christopher Plummer was a true ambassador of Canadian artists, our stories, and our values. Our condolences to his family. Watching what we do, it's clear we have much to celebrate. Our service productions like Handmaid's Tale, The Boys, Star Trek Discovery, and The Expanse have been renewed and regularly feature Canadian talent. And our Canadian shows like Nurses and Coroner have been picked up by the U.S. networks. And how about our very own Schitt's Creek, which scored a record-setting sweep with seven wins in seven categories on that other little award show, the Emmys. Actor Toronto members winning five of those seven awards. And tonight we celebrate our Award of Excellence recipient, Jenny Lozon. Jenny, your contributions to Actor Toronto and the industry have been enormous. You have opened so many people's eyes about intersectionality in our industry and guided our own union to a deeper understanding of all our country's peoples. Who would have thought 40 years ago that when we were improvising together at theater sports that we'd both be here tonight. This show is about celebration. We are celebrating world-class talent, telling Canadian stories that are being exported around the world. Successful exports like Murdoch Mysteries, Baroness Found Sketch Show, 
Kim's Convenience and Schitt's Creek are all finalists in this year's Members' Choice Series Ensemble Award, along with newbie band ladies. I am blown away by the caliber and diversity of the talented performers who were nominated this year. So, congratulations to all the nominees and winners, and enjoy the best industry party online in town. On with the show. Hi, my name is Tara Skye, and I am thrilled to present the 2021 Actra Toronto Award of Excellence to the most influential artist of my life. She inspired me to become an artist and an activist as her activism work directly affected the ease in which I am able to do my work as a younger generation artist. I grew up watching her as Granny in Mr. Dress Up and as Pa Foley in the big comfy couch, may I present to you, Jenny Lozon. I remember when I first arrived in Toronto, it was in the late 70s, I was 18 years old and my eyes were wide open and I was super excited about becoming an actor. And one of my very first agents, I was put in the ethnic file. So all the Caucasian actors, all the white actors had their own files in the filing cabin, of course, with their name on it. But I was put in the file with all the black actors and the Asian actors and indigenous actors because of the color of my skin. So I recognize how far we've come and how amazing the industry is now just beginning really to open up and understand the importance of stories from a variety of different people, a variety of different cultures, and I'm excited to see where our industry will go within the next 10 years. I was lucky to work on some great series, uh, Destiny Ridge, the miniseries Conspiracy of Silence. I had a great time working on Armand Ruffo's film, A Windigo Tale, for, uh, for which I, I won a couple of awards uh, for my performance as Doris. I've been lucky. And one of, the things that I realized about all of those experiences is that I love being an actor. There's nothing that I love more. I love being a storyteller. And I'm thankful that I have and continue to have the opportunity to do that. My advocacy work started um, for two reasons. One, I was spending some time, a lot of time with an elder in Manitoulin Island called Sam Ozamek and I was helping him pound some medicines one day and I was complaining about the industry and how there was no place for me and not enough work and and he turned to me and he, and he said so what are you going to do about it <laughs> and so I realized that he was right that if I really wanted to change something in our industry I, I needed to I needed to be at the table so luckily my friend Heather Allen called me I was a new mom I had some time and she said hey there's some work to do at ACTRA and I said, oh, well, you know, I'll stay just for a couple of years. Well, I stayed for 20. I am very proud of the work that I've been able to do at ACTRA. I, um, the Casting Go Sees, the Diversity Database, the Outreach and Education Film Festival initiatives, the Accessibility DVD that we created for actors uh, from diverse uh, physical and cognitive diverse backgrounds. So many amazing initiatives supported by the staff and the council at ACTRA Toronto. I feel lucky that I learned the importance of our union and my place in it. And I really encourage you all to consider volunteering for the union. I am going to miss the party this year. I miss seeing all the faces of the people that I see every year at the party. I'm going to miss the the amazing food and especially the dance floor. I'm not going to miss trying to find my way down to the underground parking lot at the car loop because every year I can't figure out how to get to the parking lot even though I've gone there for years. And those lineups at the elevators, well I won't miss those either. But I will miss seeing all of you. And what I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for my agent. My agent Angela Wright 
who has been with me for many years, through thick, through thin, through my times of insecurity, through my times of being too busy to be submitted. Can't thank you enough, Angela, for sticking with me and encouraging me over all these years to keep going and to reminding me that I am worthy as an actor and as an artist and as a performer. I want to also thank all of the Actor Toronto Council who voted for me for this award this year. I really, I'm so honored, I'm humbled. And I, I especially want to thank my daughter, my daughter Tara Skye for introducing me this evening and also for being a part of my life. I have learned more from being a mom um, and I think I'm a better actor because of it. I also am very proud of the amazing beadwork that she's been doing recently, these amazing earrings that she gave me and this necklace. So the things you learn to teach yourself and you do during a pandemic, thank you so much, Tara, for being in my life and being with me this evening. And thank you to all who continue to believe in our industry in Canada, who believe that our stories are important, who believes that our cultural stories are important, and then in fact, by working with inclusivity and diversity, our stories are richer as a result of it. So thank you again, and good luck to all the nominees and the, and, and the winners this evening, and to all of you who were able to create work this year. Let's make it twice as best, better next year. Good night, and thank you. Hi, my name is Cara Ricketts, and I have the honor of presenting the Actor Award for Outstanding Performance Male. Amir Bergeria, Jesse Lavercombe, Brendan Oakes, Rick Roberts, and Adrian Walters. And the winner is Jesse Lavercombe for his performance in Violation. Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much. It is so incredible to be nominated along with all of these amazing performers. Uh, I just want to quickly thank the directors of Violation, Dusty Mancinelli and Madeline Sims Fewer. I also want to thank our cinematographer, Adam Crosby. The whole Coronas movie was just amazing, so thank you. Um, I want to thank my agent, Rich Kaplan, Noble Kaplan Abrams. I could not ask for a more supportive relationship. And uh, lastly, I want to thank my family, who I asked to not see this movie, uh, which will be obvious if you've seen it. And for the most part, they listened. So thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye. Here we go now. Well, here. I cannot handle this pressure. I smell hot dogs. Good word, Better Kenny. Doesn't get much better, Kenny. To be fair, to be fair. Your terms is acceptable. Yeah. Did you hear any of this from Glenn? No. Peter Callahan here. Um, I have a quick message for all of the uh, Actra Award of Excellence winners that came before and after me. Um, I didn't know this, but apparently on the year that I won, the award was actually the Actra Award of Most Excellence. Uh, amazing. I, I, uh, they didn't have time to put it on a statue and um, it wasn't talked about much, but I, I was told by uh, people. Uh, so it's true. Seriously, though, it was um, a real 
highlight uh, in my life and a real honor. And I thank you all sincerely again. And um, congrats to all the winners tonight. And we will see you on the other side of this effing pandemic. Take care all. Hi, my name is Sara Chaudhry, and I have the honor of presenting the Actor Award for Outstanding Performance, Female Voice, which funny enough didn't even exist when I won back in 2018. So I'm really excited that us women and girls have our own category to be celebrated in now. Miche Eisen, Julie Lemieux, Marketa McKay, Beatrice Schneider, and Bahia Watson. And the winner is... Bahia Watson for Total Drama Rama. Wow, thank you so much for this uh, amazing honor um, for this award. Um, I would like to, uh, to thank Actra uh, for the recognition. I'd like to thank all my fellow nominees. Um, thank you to everyone who is part of the Total Drama Rama family. Um, everyone at Fresh TV, uh, everyone who puts their heart and soul and creativity and energy into uh, making this hilarious, fun show. Um, all of the animators, uh, all of the writers, the engineers, sound technicians, uh, producers, everybody, um, Terry and uh, Susie and Jack and my wonderful Director Merle Ann, um, thank you everyone um, for, uh, for all that you do. Thank you to Lashana, my character who um, teaches me a lot about being bold and brave and hilarious. And, um, and thank you for letting me bring you to life. Um, thank you to all of the fans and everyone who watches the show and shows us so much love. Um, it's, uh, it's a great joy of mine to be a part of it. So thank you everyone in the whole wide world so much.
With each tree that comes down, with each lost line of poetry, another star disappears. With every passion that fades, every legend that's belittled or forgotten, will all the last remaining starlight soon be gone? And will anyone remember what once shone? Until I can put some stars back in the sky. Make it yours. What are you waiting for? We're gonna find out. You're gonna be the heroes. The heroes and the stories of your own lives. We gotta save the world this time. Surprise! We are a light that will push back the darkness. Yes. This is amazing. We are unstoppable. You're gonna love it. What? The world. You never know what's gonna happen until you begin. This is our moment. <gasps> Hello, my name is Bryn McCauley, and I have the honor of presenting the Actor Award for Outstanding Performance Male Voice. Ali Badshaw, David Burney, Dan Shamaroy, Corey Doran, and Devin Mack. And the winner is Corey Doran for Doomsday Brothers. Congratulations, Corey. What? I won? Wow, thank you, everyone. This is a... Uh... A truly amazing and humbling experience. Um, I want to thank all of my fellow nominees, first of all, for being such amazing talents. Devin, David Burney, Ali, Dan Shamroy. I mean, you guys are the best of the best, and uh, having my name up with yours is a truly humbling experience. I want to thank Will and Dee and everyone at Portfolio Entertainment for uh, taking a chance and saying, hey, strange guy, can you please voice these characters for us? Because uh, I absolutely love animation and getting to do an adult themed cartoon has been nothing but a joy and a bucket list item for me. I've had so much fun taking these characters and running with them. The freedom you gave us was so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to my fellow union siblings, all I got to say is thank you again. Thank you for continuing to stick to our protocols so that we can keep our industry open during this absolute poop storm of a year. Uh, we are the best of the best and I just want to say this is a truly humbling experience for me. Thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank my agent, Noel, who 14 years ago said, hey, guy with some strange voices, you might do well in animation, because I did not know you could do this for a living, and this has been a true calling for me. Thank you for that. Uh, last, I want to thank my amazingly supportive wife and kids. They have had to put up with thousands of weird character sounds and thousands of weird noises as I have honed my craft over the decade plus. And I just want to thank them again for having my back and for always having the patience to uh, listen to it. And for one funny note, my kids, uh, they won't let me read to them because they say, no daddy, no voices. So thank you everybody. This is a truly humbling experience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Don't ask how many takes this took.
that's the first thing I'm going to do when lockdown ends is take down my Christmas tree. <laughs> Don't judge. It's been a long year. The first thing I want to do when COVID lockdown is over is have a birthday party for everyone that missed their birthday, which at this point is actually everyone. So we're gonna get down. I'm talking cakes on cakes on cakes, copious amounts of food, crazy music, screw the noise complaints, we're gonna get down, okay? Like it's 1999. I'm gonna visit with my kid because I haven't seen him in person and not on Zoom in a long time. We've had some new members join our extended family over the past two months. So after lockdown, I'd really like to see them, welcome them and spoil them. The first thing I'll do when lockdown is over is scream, yes! <sighs> and on the street, not into a microphone. So the first thing I'm gonna do when lockdown is over is return a lot of clothes. Um, I made a bunch of purchases for like Christmas and, and what have you, and I've got a lot to return. But once this is over, I hope we're all gonna get together and make magic happen together. So sending out a big giant hug. Ah! And lots of love. I can hardly wait to meet again with my friends at Actor Toronto. Uh, missing you guys a lot. i see you real soon. Well, I'll ride the crowded TTC subway. And when some man inevitably loses his balance and stumbles directly into me, stomping on my big toe, I will have the confidence to look him in the eye and say, listen, mister. Thank you. I haven't been touched in months. Originally launched in 2016 as the Share the Screen Awards by our friends and former co-chairs Sedna Fiati and Farah Marani, the Sandy Ross Awards celebrate an individual and a company who incorporate diversity and inclusion in their work. The awards are named after the late actor and activist Sandy Ross, the first woman and person of color to be president of Actra Toronto and the founder of Actra Toronto's first diverse talent directory into the mainstream which at the time was a physical book. It continues now online at diversity.actoronline.ca. We are proud to honor Sandy's memory through the Sandy Ross Awards. Previous award winners include Floyd Kane, Thunderbird Entertainment, Tanya Williams, Frankie Drake Mysteries, Hungry Eyes Media, Natalie Younglie, Don Wilkinson, and Sinking Ship Entertainment. And we look forward to honoring our 2020 recipients one month from today on March 21st the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. We hope you'll join us live on YouTube at 8 p.m. It's weird because it's a worldwide pandemic, but I feel like I'm at peak health. <laughs> I can bench press my fridge. I love that. Oh, you have to come and see the art installation that Jill created on our new porch. Wow. It's softly political. It's so vivid. Is that taxidermy? Vegan taxidermy. She's teaching a Zoom class now. I'm teaching a Zoom class too. It's about traveling in your mind. I'm reading the encyclopedia. I'm on H. Wow. How about you, Sam? How are you doing? Uh... I'm... Okay. I'm building a tiny, tiny home inside my apartment, just like for a change of scenery. Oh, I'm learning the harp. I love that for you. Thank you. I've upped my meditation time to 16 minutes. I want to learn skills that'll be useful. Like manifestation. Okay. Okay. Receiving the Award of Excellence meant so much. It was a real honor. I remember agonizing about the speech. I was um, doing a play out of town and I came into town and it was just like sort of drifting on a cloud outside of the agonizing about my speech. And I felt bathed in the affection of my community. So much of what we do as actors feels um, alone and isolated until you get a job. So to have that sense of community and 
to say, oh my gosh, they noticed. <laughs> um, it just meant so much to me. I, I remember really clearly standing up on the stage and um, feeling the warmth from the audience in that beautiful theater, the Carlu. It was just tremendous. And then afterwards as well, um, seeing people one hasn't seen for years and, um, you know, it just, it's, it's everything. Well, it just makes you realize that uh, we, what we have in this country, we have many talented people. So to be, to be honored in that way, um, you know, obviously it comes as a huge surprise, but um, a, a really wonderful one. And um, I, uh, you just sort of also hope that you can live up to the faith that your community has in you. And um, I have to say, it made me want to contribute more uh, to my community to make it strong and viable because it is a constant struggle in Canada to keep our industry strong and viable. Um, but I was ever so grateful for it. Hi, my name is Delmar Abuzaid, and I have the honor of presenting the actual award for Outstanding Performance, Female. Clark Bako, Jane Eastwood, Nicole Law, Kari Matchett, and Tamara Pademski. And the winner is Tamara Pademski in Coroner. Congratulations, Tamara. An acting award from my fellow acting community feels really good um, to be in the company of these brilliant nominees feels really good and to be able to get all dressed up and still wear my sweatpants feels really really good so thank you Actra thank you to my coroner family and thank you to CBC for supporting the show for three seasons this episode of one drum is very special to me um, in season one I had the task of connecting the dots of how an indigenous woman would come to work at a coroner's office. And I came up with the backstory, but it was really just for me to bring depth and truth to her. Um, but when season two came around, Adrian Mitchell and Morwen Brebner created this space of conversation that was so inclusive and respectful and, um, and safe that I dared to share the backstory that I created. And the next thing I know, an Indigenous writer is being brought in, Shannon Masters, um, to voice the story. Three more Indigenous roles are written into the story. Anishinaabe Moin, the Ojibwe language, is brought into the story. And Charles Officer is um, given the responsibility to guide us through it all. Um, thank you to the creatives at Coroner for trusting me with Alison Trent with supporting me in my exploration of who she is and who she wanted to become. Um, I have never been given such freedom and license. Um, it was a life-changing experience to have that kind of agency as an actor and I am forever grateful for that. Chimi Gretsch. I cannot wait to gather with everyone again sometime in the near future. Hello, I'm Ken Newman, National Director of the United Steelworkers. This pandemic has been tough. To stay safe, workers need the protection of a strong union. During COVID, Actra Toronto has done a great job keeping cameras rolling so that performers can keep working and bringing stories to life. I want to give a shout out to the staff at Actra, who are members of Steelworkers Local 8300. Thank you for all the work you do on behalf of the performers and artists. Our union is proud of the strategic alliance with Actra a friendship and partnership that has strengthened us both since 2005. Congratulations to all of the nominees. Uh, 
Uh, first, congratulations to all the winners. I wish we were all in person because it's always so great to get together with everyone. What I'd like to say from sitting on the perch of being an older performer, you know, at that end of the career, is that I think we are at a totally exciting moment in the narrative arts in Canada. We have sort of come out of the first stage where we were struggling to get Canadian work, Canadian writer, Canadian performers, and that was a tough, that was a tough haul. And where we're going now is finally, finally saying all communities deserve their stories told equally. All communities of Canada have a place in the narratives we speak about. All communities must tell their stories within our story. And the other place that we're at, which is I find, because in a way I feel that Canada has left, led a, a half-life for, well, since the settlers got here, whatever, 400 years. But we've led a half-life. And now for the first time, it feels as if we are on the road to actually reconciling with the First Nations, the Indigenous nations who are here on whose lands we are. And suddenly as, as if the shadows are being slowly removed over all of us, not only those who are on the receiving end of the stick, but those who were on the privileged end of the stick. And with those shadows finally starting to move, we have in the creative arts an absolute unique chance to retool, reimagine, recreate, and retell the stories of who we are. And that's what actor is, because that's what we do. We tell stories. So I think this is a totally exciting time. And I'm very happy to be still here during it. Have a great 2021. Cheers. Do I look good? I look good? I look all right? Oh, hey. Hey, what's going on, people? Kevin Hanchard here, and I have the distinct honor of presenting the actor award for Members' Choice Series Ensemble. First, we have band ladies, Baroness Von Sketch Show, Kim's Convenience, Murdoch Mysteries, and Schitt's Creek. Let's find out who won. The winner is Schitt's Creek. Congratulations, everybody. Well deserved. Hello, Actra. Dan Levy here. Just wanted to say a huge thank you uh, on behalf of our entire cast for this honor. Um, we so appreciate it. And more importantly, we so appreciate all the support you've given us and shown us throughout our six seasons on the air. We are sad that it's over, but we are so happy that it happened. And we wouldn't be here if it weren't for your continued support throughout the years. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so much gratitude, so much appreciation from all of us here at Schitt's Creek. Well, that's it for the 19th Annual ACTRA Awards in Toronto. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations to all the winners and the nominees. And keep watching Canadian and stay safe.